any mineral which comes from mother earth can increase enhance the beauty of the jewelry can be called a gem it can be organic or inorganic it should be a mineral that is the one thing and if they come from mother earth it, it is it means it is original right and original things have a limited supply so every time whenever we talk about it this is a limited supply gemstone we mostly categorize in two category precious and semi precious precious one there are nine stones which we put in the precious category they are as we all know the most hardest hard stone of the earth is diamond so diamond is in precious category and sapphire blue sapphire yellow sapphire emerald also in precious category hyacinth garnet this is also called gomez uh, in precious category pearl cat's eye coral these are all in precious category and rest you can see the in thousands of stones in same precious category and the, in the precious category why they these goods are in precious category we, we don't know because other sapphires and they are garnet the hyacinth garnet is in precious category but rest all in precious same precious category the garnet family stones the other we can talk about uh, the beryl family stone emerald is in precious category but rest all beryls are in same precious category so there is no particular uh, any definition why these are in precious category but the the we can categorize as in two category in the gemstone basically gemstone has a long long history in the human nature we use these gemstones from early ages uh ancient civilization we have proved that people used gemstone over there and and we can talk about uh, mesopotamia or mesh uh, we found tutankhamun's death mask lapis lazuli so we are using these gemstones uh, from early ages because they are beneficial for humans for humans uh, there are many be- different benefits from gemstones so uh, we use these uh, for Uh, the different purpose like uh, we use that as, as birth stone uh, zodiac sign stone or you, you can find that every month born have a different stone because that particular stone helps them to improve their life style or life there are many things which affect our life right so for better peace of mind we use these stones like some stones are also used medically they have medical benefits also so when we discuss each and everything we will let you know everything uh, i will talk in this video about the special gravity or hardness or different things so you can understand the gemstone industry in gemstone industry you find that uh, every gemstone we use have a different uh, shape and size and it all depends and the prices also depend on that so we also talk about shape and size and mining also the gemstones are comes in the nature when the earth comes at the same time there when an early age and uh, the early history of earth when it um, creates uh, volcanoes and uh, it starts some uh, cooling of rocks and minerals at the same time the gemstone is starting to create Uh, the volcano rocks goes old and when it comes to cold it's and uh, it heats with heat and temperature and with pressure and some minerals come into existence and those minerals later on in million years or billion years of time comes turns into gemstone these gemstones are very rare and very valuable because the supply is limited you can there are many gemstones which only find in one location on the earth and many which have only few pieces be found on the earth so the pricing and the rarity is too high of the gemstone gemstones itself very rare and as the supply is very limited so it can also use in jewelry and some collectibles Yeah, I know few of gemstones which we have only ten or twenty pieces we found till yet. So you can see the rarity. Uh, gemstones the pricing is also dependent on the clarity, supply, sizes, colors, and mines. 
If we have more than one mines of a single stone, the price of every stone can be different. Every mine's prices can be different. As you, we know emerald, Colombian emerald or Sakota or any other emerald. We found some emerald in Ethiopia also. So everywhere we found the emerald and every piece of emerald have a different price because of mine. It also depends because every mine have a different characteristic. We also categorize gemstone in different families. Yes, different, different gemstones have different families also. As we humans have different families, gemstone have some famous families. Yes, just like agate, calcedony, feldspar, onyx, garnet, burial, and many more. So different families have a different values. Their chemical structures are nearly the same, but their color, color and some compositions can be different. And so, same family stones can be identified as different. Just we can talk about garnet. Red garnet is the most famous stone, but in the garnet family, you can find many more that like rhodolite or purple garnet or green garnet, or you can see um, hesonite garnet. Hesonite garnet is in pieces category and rest all the garnet. Even it is uh, green garnet or dementoid garnet, both are in most more valuable than hesonite garnet, but they are in same use category. But hesonite, whichever which value is less, is in pieces category. We can talk about the burial family also. In burial family, you can see emerald in pieces category, but morganite, this is burial, aquamarine, burial, and other burials are in same pieces category. So. Uh, Halido Gar Halido uh, is a yellow aquamarine which is in semi precious category. So you can find many things like this. Uh, the hardness of the gemstone is also a key factor because as the stone goes harder and harder and harder, uh, it cannot be scratched easily and the life of the stone goes up. So the stones which have more hardness are I think should be more valuable but it is also affected by the supply also because if the stone is soft the supply is very rare so it will be more hard, more precious than more valuable than the harder one but the hard stone cannot be scratched easily so it is easy to wear and easy to take care of the diamond is the most hard stone in the gemstone industry the hardness is scalable in the industry by the unit of Mohan scale, Mohs scale. Mohs scale is a basically uh, calculate the hardness from 0 to 10. 10 is hard, the most hard stone, diamond, and rest all in between. We can talk about the sapphires. Sapphire are mostly 9 hardness, and most of the sapphires, like blue sapphire, yellow sapphire, uh, purple sapphire, or pink sapphire, they are most. The hard stone or you can say ruby, corundum family is also uh, the most hard stone. But it uh, depends on hardness also, there is the value factor also depend on the clarity and the mines. We can find in India also and as well as Sri Lanka, Burma or you can find it in Africa also. So there are different. You can find the Burmese rubies are most valuable, but the Indian ruby is less because Indian rubies are opaque and Burmese rubies are they have a good luster. We find some blue sapphires in Jammu and Kashmir. Uh, there is the most rare. Yeah, I, we, there is today in today's date you cannot mine over there because there is nothing left. But if you have anything that is uh, valuable and collectible. At the same time, the same um, luster and color which we found in Kashmir, we I don't think we, you can find anywhere else. But you can find uh, some uh, sapphires in Sri Lanka and some sapphires in Burma or over there. The prices are high. You can find some sapphires in Africa also. But it all depends the color clarity. I can. There are some standard shapes. In the industry and some standard of color and clarity in the industry. So I will explain you one by one. The round shape, oval, pears, octagon, trillion, square, heart shape. These are the markings. These are some standard shapes of the industry. 
if you find anything in the particular that shape these shapes uh, these are the standard shapes and some standard sizes for everything every shape is the is particular is in the industry, industry so you can find easily these cuts or these shapes uh, easily the if we talk about ovals ovals we start from 4 by 3 the standard 4 by 3 5 by 3 5 by 4 6 by 4 7 by 5 8 by 6 9 by 7 8 by 10 9 by 7 8 by 10 11 by 9 12 by 10 14 by 10 uh, 16 by 12 18 by 13 so these are the standard sizes of the oval if you find anything out of this that is not a standard so whenever any designer want to use a uh, oval he should or she should use this size and it can be easily available because if a manufacturer cut the stone they cut in a standard size you can also find the bigger sizes and free sizes but if you want to uh, procure anything you should know what are the standards okay just in pier piers is also start from 4 by 3 5 by 3 6 by 4 7 by 5 8 by 6 9 by 6 7 by 9 10 by 9 10 by 7 these are the standard sizes of piers the rounds start from uh, today's date we can find the round from 1 mm yes earlier it is difficult to find because uh, only by hand these cuts are possible in Jaipur only so it is when we cut in Jaipur uh, it is very difficult for us to cut less than 1 mm in early time and around I can say that around 5 years back you cannot find even 1 mm easily the start size start from uh, five years ago, we talk about five years ago, the sizes of rounds start from 2 mm. But nowadays, you can find 1 mm, 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, like this. The only 0.1 mm calibration difference is possible in round up to 2 mm and it is easily findable nowadays. You can also find it bigger. From 1 mm to 2 mm, 0.1 mm difference is possible and you, uh, you can procure it. After 2 mm, you can find 2.5, 2.25, 2.5, 2.75, and 3. Then 3.5, 4, 4.5, 5, and after 5, it is not easily available or not a standard that people cut 5.5 or 6.5. They usually cut 5 mm, 6 mm, 7 mm, up to 20 mm, then after that, the free size are available. The sizes are also depend on the stones because different stones have different characteristics. If you are going to cut a get, you can cut it in 1 mm, but if you want to cut to 20 mm also, it is possible in your gets or calcimony or any quartz. But if you want to talk about the expensive stone or the, if the size is not available in the stone, like just like orange garnet, in orange garnet, I don't think that you can find 10 mm because it is not available. This is the character of the stick of the stone. Or any stone which we, you cannot take, get, get big rocks, you cannot cut in big sizes. Just green garnet, you cannot get big sizes. So there are many stones like this. This is the standard of, uh, you can find many other stones. We are talking about the big shapes. Already we talk about oval, pairs or round. Yeah, octagon, it is start mostly from 3 by 5 or 4 by 3, just like ovals. Pier, we already talked. Trillions mostly about round but cannot be find less than 3 mm because if you cut trillion is less than 3 mm you can find not find the edges it is as well as the round so use round before doing that except if you design anything don't design trillion in 2 mm because it is difficult to cut difficult to get so and uh, if you cut uh, a trillion less than 2 mm or 2 mm you can set round over there because it is very very hard to find the a corner of the trillion so if we if anybody cannot see the trillion in the jewelry you cannot see by microscope right so when you wear in jewelry from the long distance it will hardly make any difference in round and so try to use the things which are standard in the industry and you can easily find that in the markets category you can find a standard from 2, two by 4 2.5 by 5 3 by 6 like this 
So if you, if you can find any markers, it should be proportional like this. Uh, the heart shape is as well as the trillion, the same one. And if we talk about any other stone, like any other shape, like uh, uh, any fancy or the, the fancy shapes can be cut in any shapes and size. If you want to more details, please come to our website and you will see uh, the standard shapes and sizes over there in calibration section. Value of the gemstones is depend on the labor going on it, if the raw material is cheaper. So, if we find any big stone like uh, big rock like agate rocks or calcedony rocks, the smaller sizes are more expensive than the bigger sizes because of the labor cost. But if we talk about expensive stone like tanzanite or green garnet or any other expensive stone, uh, so the bigger sizes are expensive. Even in red garnet, uh, which is the also called the most the cheapest stone but it is not like that and the best quality uh, red garnet small sizes are cheaper but fine bigger sizes are expensive because bigger raw material is not available so as we talk about the pricing it depends on the raw material price it depends on the availability it depends on the cut it depends on the clarity many things are affecting on that which mines we are using the raw material is coming from we also categorize gemstone in some purity sections like uh, if the stone is clear this is called fi that is also used the same category in diamond also. mostly semi precious and precious stones are inclusive generally inclusive uh, but if the clean we can say it first quality or fi quality or vs quality the same thing. Uh, VS quality and IF quality in the semi color stone category, they are too mostly clean and you cannot see any inclusion by naked eye. Uh, the second category, which we call good second quality or second quality, which are slightly included in the market, you can say SI quality or SI2 quality if you regarding as to regarding to the diamond, but the second quality is the slight inclusion which you can see by naked eyes but cannot affect the quality of the stone. After setting, I don't think the SI quality or the good second quality is hardly any matters on the beauty after setting. The third quality is also used in beads and other cuts, fancy cuts because it is clearly seen exclusions and that can be affected the beauty of the stone. So mostly Cut stone are not used, not cut in that quality, but the commercial used stones can also be cut. The silver based, poor quality stone are that in that quality. Uh, this is also called third or commercial quality. So this is how you can categorize the gemstone depending on our clarity. And we are only talking about color gemstone, so don't take it in the diamond section. If we talk about emerald or sapphires. Uh, the mostly we hardly see the top first clean quality it is very rare and very expensive mostly in the jewelry if we use the side stones we mostly use the, uh, the good second quality the people use we don't <laughs> make the jewelry but i just tell you how the trend or how the market is going on so this is how we use we can categorize the gemstone and we can value them. Uh, they depend on color also. If we have some stones, they are, they, they are different colors. In it. Just like tangenite, you can see the saurite, you can see different color, color of gemstone. The top color have the best price, the second color have little down, the third color have little down, the fourth color. So, in gemstones, uh, you can see many colors and the prices depend on that. The deep color is always, if that is not black, uh, the deep color is always have good price. In, gems, in the tangenite, uh, people are mostly categorized tangenite in five or six colors. So prices are different in five or six colors. In Savorite, also five and six colors are the standard of the industry. So every color have a different price. We mostly, on our uh, uh, website, we mostly do three category of the gemstone and three different color of gemstone. So 
it is very easy to identify it and it is very easy we try to make it easy for any person uh, who is not very very dependent and very very knowledgeable gemstone industry you can see uh, mostly we have done three colors uh, in on our website uh, the best three colors so you you have some easy availability of them and uh, further uh, the price is also dependent on the mines the, here i would like to uh, say you the ruby example or the amethyst in the simplest amethyst is found in brazil uruguay and africa many places and the prices are dependent on the mines also like if you would talk about six corners six corner or price as compared to bolivian or uruguay or african mines it is very cheap but uh, if you want good color we only find that in african but in african mines we can't find clean quality is very difficult to find clean quality and big sizes in african so if you want big sizes with color we have to go to bolivia or uruguay so but everything if you want to talk with the comparison of prices 6x4 oval is the cheapest in the six corner one then the brazil one and then the african one the higher highest price in the african one but uh, if you want to buy 10x12 or 10 by 14 or bigger you cannot find in african one okay but good color you can find in uruguay or bolivia so it all depend on the which size you are one you'll be looking for and which color you are looking for by any gemstone uh, mostly you can identify by them with color or weight or just few things you can identify this stone but uh, as i think that uh, you can check every stone by their hardness test because every stone which is uh, less hard than the other one can be scratched by the harder stone so by the, the mohan's hardness test you can check every stone mostly every stone and the special gravity test which is very easy for everybody to be done and can identify what is the gemstone in a special gravity test you just have to find out the weight of the stone in the air and the weight of the stone in the water and uh, if you have the weight of the stone in the air and water you can find out the special gravity of the stone the special gravity is weight of the mineral in air divided by the difference of the weight uh, of air and water means if you have uh, the weight of the air you can divide it by the difference of the weight of the stone if the air and water means if a is the weight of uh, air and uh, w is the weight of uh, water just less uh, just find out the a minus b and you can divide uh, the uh, weight of the a weight of weight in the air divided by the difference of the weight uh, that is special gravity so by this test you can almost find find every every mineral Uh, so uh, keep in mind whenever you buy the stone just keep few things in mind and you will find the best stone uh, if you know more about gemstone just come to us we will glad to help you out we have our own gemstone factory in jaipur so we cut teach and every stone and if you want deep knowledge on that you can come to us we will help you and if you want any information you can contact us or you can ask any video if you want on a particular stone we will make regular videos on particular stones we can make on them please subscribe our channel to for regular updates and if you want any type of help from my side i will be there for you thank you thank you very much Hey friends this is Amit Bapna from Dashrath International Jaipur we are mainly doing in natural gemstones 
and loose gemstones and we have more than 100 different natural gemstones and type of bulk type of cuttings specialized cuts and many things today we are talking about amethyst you know amethyst is the most famous gemstone in the world and it is belong from quartz family its hardness is around 7 so it is very easy to set or cut any shape size and uh, cuts it is very easy to do that the natural color of this from pale to dark I mean, dark purple but you can if you if we heat an amethyst it can change some color on 250 degrees it goes to white and at 500 degrees around it we can turn it into citrine you know citrine is a pale yellow color and one more thing about uh, amethyst that uh, it never dies you cannot never find the amethyst in a dye because quartz cannot be dyed so you can identify that also. Hardness is 7, so very uh, difficult to scratch easily. It is used in most of jewelry because very easy to available. It mostly it comes from Brazil, but uh, you can also find it in Uruguay, Bolivia, Africa, sometimes India and USA also. And the best available thing the best color is from Africa, the dark color, but the cleanness is not possible in African amethyst. So, normally we use, uh, for clean goods, we use Brazilian goods or canela or Bolivia goods, but if you want dark color, for small sizes, we use African raw material, and African raw material is a bit darker from Bolivian one or the Brazil one. And the, the small size, it is also available that we can find clean goods in Africa also. But if you go for 5 by 7 or 8 by 10 or bit bigger, it is very difficult to hardly to find clear goods in Africa in raw materials. And also, uh, that if we want uh, good luster, we have to go for Bolivian one or Brazilian one. Uh, in India, we can fall, found some uh, Africa. Uh, Amethyst also, but it is not too oh, fantastic color or too fantastic luster. So, till yet, Brazilian is the best. And again, if you want to, where it comes from? It comes from Greek. The earlier, the word is Amethysto. The first name of the Amethyst was Amethysto. Made by, the name given by Greeks. And it is stone is people think that it is against darkness they it help help people against darkness it help people uh, for their health so people wear this stone in their left hand's uh, smaller finger uh, to help amethyst is a lot of benefits people wear it uh, in their left hand small finger uh, to increase their memory to increase to get benefit in their health uh, it is people think that it will help them to fight against darkness so their positive memories, their positive attitude, people like to wear this stone. And if this stone is really very very helpful for your nature, for your memories, it has different type of myths also over there but we will not talk about them but you can, you understand that it is a very heavy and hard stone so it is very beautiful to be wear. As you know that it is a hard stone, it can cut in any shape, any size. So we have on our website, Dashar International, uh, cut it many shapes, every size, customized order also, or anything, any special cuts also, because it is easy to cut. So you can come to our website and you can buy it in any shape, any size, and we have also wholesale policy also. So as much you buy, you have to pay less. You can check it out also. This if you buy one piece, it will cost you to you, and if you buy hundred pieces, it will be very cheaper to you. And we have many other things also. So come to us. If you want concave curve, checkerboard, if you want buff top, uh, triangle, trillion, or any other shape, any cuts, come to us and let us know your inquiry. We will be happy to help you out. Thank you. Good morning, friends. This is Damit Bapna from Dashat International. We are one-stop shop for all your gemstone needs. Today, we are talking about ametrine. Ametrine, as the name says, is a mixture of amethyst and citrine. It is a bicolor quartz. 
and you can see it uh, amethyst part or citrine part in any single stone so you can uh, call that amethyst as it is a quartz the hardness is 7 and the special gravity is 2.64 to 2.69 so it is very easy to cut in any shape and size but normally it's uh, bigger than 8 mm or 10 mm so you can see the both color in one stone mostly you find in uh, in market the octagons and uh, not any other uh, shape because in other shape like oval or round you can if you cut the stone like that uh, you will see the reflection of one color in another color and another color in the mix the color will mix so uh, it will not look good you cannot see the beauty of the stone in round or oval so mostly it cut in octagon but at the central nation you can find in uh, pears or marquis or uh, octagon or long shape beggars like this we have all of this you can calibration size and and uh, free size also as you see that it is a durable stone so it is very popular stone and mostly uh, it is a gift for 6th and 13th and 33rd anniversary and uh, it is a birthstone of february and november it is also used to remove negative stress and uh, some tensions you can use this stone to remove that it is a very famous stone cemetery on bolivia and so it is also called bolivian or it is also called tricite it is a very famous stone and it is a gift proper gift for 6th 13th and 33rd anniversary it is also a birthstone of february and november as it contains citrine and amethyst both and uh, it will save us from negative stress or uh, some tensions so if you want to use this stone you can use this stone there is no harm but the power is positive energy and very durable stone if you need any more info further information please ask us we will glad to help you out thank you thank you very much Good morning friends this is Amit Bapna from Dashat International your one stop shop for all your gemstone need uh, i wish you a very happy new year by 2018 and uh, today we are talking about amolite amolite is a organic stone a very soft stone and very rare stone uh, we have very few mines in the world in canada and few deposit in canada and us and north usa where we find this in bulk otherwise no other good location or bulk location where we find bulk uh, deposits of amolite amolite is a very soft stone hardness is around 3.5 to 4 and very thin layer of amolite is there and the rest on the back is mother amolite or uh, limestone uh, we did not remove the back part because the thin layer is around uh, 0.5 mm to 8 mm 0.5 to 0.8 mm not even 1 mm Uh, of amolite so if we remove the layer it will be can easily break so we did not remove any any time the layer amolite is also known as gem ammonite or buffalo stone or some people also says it a poke and uh, as this is i say you a uh, very soft stone so when we cut this stone uh, we normally use some lacquer on it or uh, uh, some uh, resin uh, transparent proxy on it 
so that cover the surface of it and it uh, help us to cut it easily and uh, it uh, protect this surface from uh, nature also because it is very uh, it can be damaged by nature also uh, the it is a multicolor stone and the most color are red orange green and blue when we turn the stone Uh, like this you can see uh, the different color on different angle uh, because uh, uh, the color is from, uh, in like other any other gemstone uh, you can see the color which the uh, gemstone in absorb but in amolite uh, a different angle you can see different angle it is because of organic structure of this stone uh, so uh, it is very different from other stones as well If you want more information on these gemstones please come to our website www.gemstonesandjewelry.com and if you have any question please ask us we will like to help you out thank you thank you very much Good morning friends this is Amit Bapna from Vishwat International your one stop shop for all your gemstones needs Today we are talking about apatite. Apatite is a, a very rare stone uh, for clean quality and uh, gem jewelry use. It comes in bulk, but uh, the clean quality is really very rare. And if you find any piece of more than one carat and clean, it is really collectible and rare. And uh, it is a good investment for your future also. Apatite comes in green, light green, deep green, yellow, purple. and uh, sky blue or deep blue colors people was confused in early age as what is this stone it confused with the uh, tourmalines it was confused with spine and rosite or many other stones that what is this stone so the name come from this confusion uh, apatau the greek word it means mistake or misguide so it the name come from there the hardness of the stone is around 5 so it is very soft and the special gravity of the stone is 3.1 to 3.2 and the crystalline structure is hexagonal so it is very easy to check it out because of its hardness and special gravity and hexagonal st structure of its raw material it's found in india uh, madagascar mostly found in madagascar neon apatite comes from madagascar and the greenish variety comes from madagascar only but the other colors also come from Uh, and many other places like Burma, Chile, uh, somewhere in Africa, and the USA and Canada. So it comes from many places. The this stone is uh, used for uh, learning and inspire inspiration. It also help us to overcome from fear because uh, the element of fire in it. and it is very recommendable stone for the people who afraid or who suffer from dark or anything and it is very good stone for your dreams make come true and if you have any any question about this stone please come to us we will like to help you thank you thank you Good morning friends this is Amit Bapna from Bishwa International your one stop shop for all your gemstones today today we are talking about boulder opal this is also called australian boulder opal because it's only find in australia 
there is only one source available in the world for the boulder opal it's usually come in deep colors deep blue deep green and some texture on that so it is the second highest priced opal after black opal most precious and the most durable opal because it's come in uh, found in the veins of uh, iron stone and when it comes out we uh, cut it with the mother of uh, mother stone iron stone as the boulder opal comes on uh, iron stone so it uh, they, that make it hard and it is you can say natural doublet uh, when we see you see the boulder opal in market you will found uh, iron stone on the back and on the top uh, the boulder opal as a the thin layer of opal on iron stone uh, this is come like this and this makes it durable uh, the opal hardness is 5.5 to 6.5 but due to iron stone it goes very hard very easy to set and you will find mostly free size in the market but at dashrath international you can find calibrated size also if you need more information please come to us we will like to help you out thank you thank you very much Good morning friends this is Amit Bapna from Dashrath International your one stop shop for all your gemstones today we are talking about citrine citrine we all know a quartz family stone and yellow stone it comes from pale yellow to golden yellow deep yellow brownish there are a big range of yellow colors and it is found naturally as well as treated basically it is uh, comes with the amethyst wherever you can find amethyst you can find citrine also Uh, by natural heat it turns into uh, amethyst turns into citrine but these days in the market you can find mostly stones are heat treated and as this is uh, is very low temperature so you cannot identify that this is heat treatment but the treatment is stable and durable so it is doesn't then make any sense any difference between natural and the treated one as this is natural amethyst which is treated to be uh, citrine its hardness as the quartz 7 and the special gravity is 2.6 to 2.7 so it is easily identified uh, and easily can you can see what is citrine and other stone you can easily identify that. the name citrine come from uh, latin word citrina citrina means yellow so uh, the yellow citrine name come from latin language it's uh, found in uh, bolivia brazil uruguay france somewhere in india Madagascar uh, so it comes from very many places wherever you can find amethyst you can find citrine also uh, the the other name of citrine is also called uh, merchant stone or money stone as this is uh, a symbol of prosperity and it is used to promote business mostly it despite negative energy and also beneficial from a st- stomach problem uh, this is the worst stone of november and uh, this is very very useful stone and people like to wear it the most it is also used for a substitute of yellow sapphire for as a birth stone if you want more information on it please come to our website www.jamstoneinjury.com and we will like to help you out thank you thank you very much Good morning friends this is Amit Bapna from Dashrath International we are one stop shop for all your gemstone needs we mainly do natural gemstones and uh, more than 100 gemstones so if you need anything just let us know today we are talking about dendritic agate dendritic agate as the name says they are the on the stone you can see some dendrite the plant and trees structures on it and when the people see these structures they they thought that this is the organic stone because they can see plants or trees over there but it is a inorganic stone and the inclusions which you see on there are uh, iron or magnesium 
So uh, due to these uh, inclusions, you can see that dendrites on that. It is a stone which is opaque mostly and sometimes uh, translucent. It is found in India, Madagascar, Kazakhstan and few locations in the world and it is a very beautiful stone. Every piece is different from the another. So one of a kind of stone. Uh, if you can see the beauty of the stone, please buy it over 8 by 10 so you can see the beauty of dendrites on it. Uh, in lesser sizes, you cannot see the beauty. It, on the lower quality, you can be confused with mosaget because in lower quality you can see some uh, similarities in, with mosaget. As both are agate, so it can be confused. The hardness is 6.5 to 7 and the special gravity is 2.59 to 2.67. So if you need any type of testing, you can do it easily. And this is a very good stone uh, and symbol of prosperity, prosperity and good health. If you need more information on it, please come to us. We have uh, free sizes and calibration sizes both on this stone. And if you need any information, just let us know. We will be glad to help you out. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good morning, this is Amit Bapna from Dashrath International, your one-stop shop where you can find more than 100 natural gemstones. Today we are talking about Ethiopian opal, the most youngest opal and you can also say that queen of the gemstone, some people call it like this in the industry. Very light, very soft, as you know this is opal and you know the opal characteristics also. Earlier the Australian opal is the king because no substitute is there and very rare but a few years back around 2009 we find, found Ethiopian opal in Ethiopia, Velo Hills we find Ethiopian opal over there and it steals the thing, the property, the famous city fame from Australian opal because it is also white, it is also have good luster, good sparkles over there and very cheap. In 2008, it, we only find around 100 kilos over there but in soon we find in tons and very big quality is available, very big quantity is available nowadays. So, Ethiopian Opal is now very very famous stones and it observes moisture. So there are some treatment also to reduce the moisture also in the stone. It dyes, these days people dyes this stone also. Ethiopian opal is easily dyed. You can find dyed Ethiopian opal in the market. So you can smell the stone and find that it is dyed or not. Because black color is dyed. You know black, black opal is very rare but if we dye Ethiopian opal, Ethiopian opal is also looks like black opal. So whenever you buy black opal, just smell it. By smell you can find that it is dyed or not. A smoke treatment is doing on to make it black. You can find pink Ethiopian opal, you can find blue Ethiopian opal, these are all dyed. Naturally Ethiopian opal comes in white or yellow. Yellow to pale and the white. This is the range of opal you can find. 
and it is very soft so if you can try to find it out you can see that uh, the opal can turn the color in moisture if you put it in the water it goes uh, the sparkle goes light so if you want if, is it because it observe the moisture so natural if you want to check whether Ethiopian opal is natural or not you can put it in the moisture and you can see that the sparkles go goes away so it is the natural and if you want to put it back just uh, keep them in light we can show you how to uh, treat it and make it the back as a sparkle means to remove the moisture you can just put it in yellow lamp uh, around one and a half feet away from the yellow lamp and it absorb it can reduce the moisture of the stone and it is it sparkles again so by this way you can make a thopian opal uh, sparkle again so uh, Ethiopian opal is yet um, more famous and uh, from other Australian opals Australian opal is not taking moisture but Ethiopian so this is the difference in both of the stone and Ethiopian opal is much much cheaper in price as compared to Australian because Australian is very rare you know so if you want to buy any type of Ethiopian opal you can come to us we cut from 1 mm it's really hard to cut because it's soft but still we are cutting 1 mm round to 10 mm calibrated and we also do uh, every, every shape like ovals round trillions octagons cushions you can find everything on our website also so even it is hard to cut but you can find uh, 1 mm to 10 mm with us even it is hard to cut you can find man, every shape with us so just come to us i doubt that anybody else anywhere else i doubt i say i doubt anywhere else you can get one mm it may possible that i am not the god and i am not the monopoly on it but uh, you can find this with us we have, we also have um, every shape we also do customized order so come to us if you have any inquiry just let us know and we will try our best to serve you and if you want any help in this stone any knowledge on this stone come to us i will try my best to serve you thank you Good morning, friends. This is Amit Bapna from Better International. You are very supportive for all your learning friends. Today we are talking about fire opal. Fire opal is a very famous stone, as you all know. It's color driven from the color, uh, the stone's color, uh, the orange, uh, the fire color of the stone that uh, gives the name the fire opal. Hardness: it is very soft stone, and the hardness is around 5.5 uh, to 6, and sometimes even lesser. So it is very soft and very very hard to cut it any shape and size. It contains water. And yes, this stone contains too much water. It can be around three percent to twenty percent of water uh, it contains sometimes. And due to this uh, feature, it is a very delicate stone to handle. With. And whenever you uh, see the stone you see that people already every time put it in the cold or sometimes in water also so it cannot be done and when you go to setting this stone in the jewelry please be careful as you cannot heat this stone if you heat this stone the water content can be burned and the stone goes opaque usually this is a transparent stone and very expensive stone so uh, this is a good choice for collectors the special gravity is 1.97 to 2.2 so you can check it uh, accordingly there are some uh, substitutes or you can say synthetic stones are also available in fire opal so whenever you buy the stone please check it carefully and try to buy from reasonable or authentic source it comes from uh, brazil and mexico the mexican variety of uh, fire opal is uh, transparent and very high price if we talk about the Brazilian quality, the Brazilian quality is a little bit uh, translucent and the color is not that reddish or uh, the top color cannot, it is not coming in the Brazilian quality. It comes from yellow, light yellow to dark yellow to orange to red. So the top red quality and the orange, top red, orange quality is usually available in Mexican uh, raw material only. So the best choice if you buy 
try to buy Mexican one. This is the best quality. And if you want more information on, about this stone, please come to our website www.gemstoneandjewelry.com and we will like to help you out. If you have any question, just ask us. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good morning friends, this is Amit Bapana from the Second Tennis Spot. Uh, you are one stop shop for more than 100 different gemstones. We are doing only natural gemstones. Today we are talking about Iolite. Iolite have a, you know, that deep blue color. And it has a, has a different characteristic. You can see different color from different angles. In one side you can see blue and the other side you can see green. Uh, on the 90 degree angle you can see it gray. So this is bicolor stone. Uh, so when you cut this stone, you have to take measure special attention to cutting because only blue is sellable. So while you are cutting this stone, you have to check it out. It is hard. Seven that Mohan's skill hardness. So seven to seven point five. So it is very easy to cut, very easy to set. There is not a problem. Iolite is found in India, Bangladesh, Burma, Sri Lanka, and Brazil, uh, and it is very very good stone to be wear because very positive attitude, positive energy in this stone. And one more thing, uh, this stone is uh, very famous uh, in last uh, century. Very, very famous because uh, it, it used in sea, means uh, the sailor, sea sailor used it to find the way to come back their home and go back. Uh, there are some characteristics which is very traditional, so they use it like that. I like uh, the color, I do like name, name comes from Greek, IOS, it is very famous these days, but IOS, Greek word means uh, the color, the violet color, so it may uh, find the name from Greek and it is very good for positive energy, it, uh, I like uh, brings good benefits to eyes and memory and the dark blue, dark blue I like is used for honesty and direct connection to our spirit. Uh, but light indigo eyelet can use can be used for love the people who love nature and if you want more details on our light please come to our website ask us questions if you have any and we will happy to help you out thank you Good morning friends, this is Amit Bapna from Dashat International. We are one stop shop for all your gemstone needs. We are cutting more than 100 gemstones and today we are talking about Kainite. Kainite is a blue gemstone, comes from Nepal majorly. It also comes in green these days, but there is hardly few mines in the world. So very rare. Uh, this stone is very soft and because of softness, it is very hard to cut. The hardness should be around 5 or 6 in between so we have when we are cutting the stone we have to set the hard part on the table so when you set in the jewelry it will get less scratches very hard uh, to find clean goods so most of the goods are in bigger sizes are not clean and one more thing that this stone is uh, because only few mines so supply is slow this stone is very blue and it looks like uh, blue sapphire so People use it in just a replacement of blue sapphire. People like to wear it. And it is very hard to cut. So, only typical 
old style cutting is available on this new style cutting or new type of cuttings are not available on this stone because of the hardness on it so square are rare in this stone because if we cut the square it is very rare, hard to set over there because soft it is break in setting so whenever you want to buy this stone try to uh, buy rounds or ovals or those type of shapes that which are not have edges sharp edges so not easy to break in setting and if you want to buy this stone come to our website gemstoneandjewelry.com and if you have any questions come to us gemstoneandjewelry.com and we will like to help you out thank you Welcome friends, hello again from Tashat International, where you can find most, uh, mostly every same pieces and precious stone on our website. We are bringing this learning lessons to you because we think that uh, it is not easy to find every characteristic of a stone in easy language. There are many books, there are Wikipedia and many things on internet where you can find knowledge about gemstone. But here at Dutch International, we are trying to tell you about a stone, a brief knowledge in easy, easy language so you can understand about that. Today we are talking about Labradorite. Labradorite is a stone of Felspar family. Uh, basically, Labradorite is color is gray and uh, with flash, blue flash, gray flash, green flash, rainbow flash, yellow flash like that. You can find some flash on it and there is no known treatment. Uh, in the industry for labradorite and uh, no famous treatment over here. 